So here you have your assignment. Universal theme of power. We are making a power coaster and it's going to look like this when you're done. Now, you're going to you're going to trace this out at this uh, dimension, 90% at this enlargement. Now, you start out in here, at, in the assignment here, okay, the butterfly assignment, you click on it, click, click, okay, and then you go to open a new window and you open it large and you want to get it to 90%. It's slightly larger than three and a half inches. It's good enough. It's approximately three and a half inches. Okay. That's what it's going to look like. This is your coaster. Here is the instructions. Okay. Create a coaster template by tracing a stylized butterfly on white paper and has a three and a half inch diameter. Open the hard copy and the open in new window mode at 90%. This will give you a three and a half inch diameter, approximately. Trace this onto white paper and cut out with a scissor. Using a pointy tool, trace over the paper template onto your clay slab, then cut out the circle and carve the surface of your coaster and create a relief. Watch this video. You're watching the video, good. So, take a piece of tape. Okay, I would suggest having a piece of tape. This is good stuff, it's scotch tape, or whatever you want to call it, invisible tape. Put this over your piece and put the tape on there. Then you are going to trace this, okay? And this is how you do it. Okay, now I have this traced. Next thing is, I take this off, and now I'm going to take this, I'm gonna take this piece, okay? I'm gonna take this piece, and I'm going to clean it up so it looks good. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you want to get a perfect circle here. This is a truncated looking circle, so I don't want truncation. So I took a piece of paper here, like this, folded it over like this, then you go like this. I found the center, this is the center, and I'm going to make a mark right here, and I'm going to say I want to come out to here. So I'm going to go like this, and here here and here. And now I'm gonna poke a hole in this. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna make a little hole here, little cross piece. There you go, did that. Put that back. Okay, so what I do is I take a pen I poke it through this hole and I put it directly on the center point here and then I take this and now I'm drawing a perfect circle here. That looks good. Now I have a perfect circle. I could, and you can see, and I'm erasing these ugly lines here. 
some reason I did a lousy tracing job to begin with. Okay, now, now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna cut around here. So I'm looking at my uh, artwork that I've got and uh, I'm looking at what's on the screen and I'm going to carve this area out here. I'm using my large tool and I can do it if I'm careful. Okay, so if you look here, if you look closely, these this has this texture in here, and I want to remove this. So I have this tool, which is sharp. Now, you could use a popsicle stick, or you could use something like this, okay? However you want to do it, okay? This is a, a, a 
a utensil, a, a knife that's been uh, modified. Now I'm coming back in here and I'm scraping away here. So I'm going to continue working here. I can use this tool in here. Okay, use that tool. want to have smooth edges on here okay so here I would say that this is pretty good make sure that it is flat okay it needs to be flat okay this bottom needs to be flat okay this has to be flat so I'm gonna test it okay when I put this onto a flat surface it was flat okay this is warped so that's why it's looking like that okay 